Good morning. Welcome back to Ohio Farm. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. We slept in again. <laughs> I turned off the interactive zone markers just because they're getting, I don't know, obtrusive since we put in the, uh, the cow barn over at the West Place or near the West Place. So I turn those off. I'll pull them on if I have to try and figure out where I'm at. But uh, we finished up putting all the silage, or sorry, chaff, the cut grass into the uh, bunker silo over by the West Place that we just put in yesterday. And we compacted it with the wheel loader. I went over to take out the bond silage from the loading wagon, the forage wagon. Uh, so I put the skid steer on the trailer and took it over there to move the pallet after it and, you know, was taken out. And I could not take the bond silage out of the trailer or the, yeah, the forge or loading wagon that uh, we had leased. So we lost that. It was probably still about 70% full. There is a pallet of bond silage still over at the at the at the store that I will get when I have time. So we'll go over and we'll take a look at that bunker silo that we have blanketed show it to you. Hop in the Lazard here. Good thing I did. So it is the end of November. November 3. Three day months. I think it's supposed to snow. Obviously not soon. Because it's not showing up in the top right. This looks like sunshine. I don't know if there's going to be much to do much ado about nothing I don't think there will be much to do today I don't doubt that there will be contracts coming available so we still have two hundred thirty five thousand dollars we could potentially buy a field and start prepping it whoa I don't want to get too close I got crop destruction on and I own that so we'll pull in here So I think it's got about 123, 122,000 liters in it. So that's quite a bit. It won't show it right now because it's fermenting. Uh, actually, let's see how fermented it is. We'll pull up the help menu. Oh, wow. So it's 21% fermented already this morning. Um... Let's just assume that it ferments. We'll check later in the day. But if it ferments 20% per day, month would be 60. A couple of months it should be ready. So it should be ready in the springtime easily. So here's the cow bar we put in. Uh, a manure plate so that we can get manure this will take straw uh, and what we'll do is we'll start out with some dairy cows and what I'm thinking maybe later on is put like some kind of open pasture type mod and we'll do beef uh, maybe in the back part of this field so we'll be able to get slurry and manure out of here we'll have to keep our eyes open for equipment that we could get so we can utilize it. Uh, so 
equipment we're on the lookout for is we're going to need a some sort of feed mixer feed wagon to make total mix ration we're gonna need we won't need a livestock trailer because there's no animal dealer on this map so we can't actually go pick them up anyway uh, we're looking for some sort of slurry tank uh, distributor type system I do not have the what's it called the pumps and hoses pack maybe that might be something nah I don't know I don't want to buy that I don't think it really make use of it we're gonna need a manure spreader uh, we can probably keep our eyes open for a silage fork for the wheel loader uh, that would dual purpose for manure it'd work for manure too even though they do probably have like a manure fork I don't know so while we're talking about used equipment let's see what's what's available nothing for us what are the chances there are any contracts no chance what's the weather going to do It's not going to snow all day. Huh. It is going to snow tomorrow. Okay. Uh, let's check the prices. We have wheat and oats to sell. We've got 95,000 liters of wheat over at the home place. And we've got another 35,000 here. And then in that field bin... We have oats somewhere around 25, 30,000. So let's take a look at prices. Wheat's at 686 and dropping at Ohio Agri Co op. The peak should be next month around 721. So we are. Not quite 40 off peak. Excuse me. <coughs> so that tells us how much wheat we got stored, too, at both places. That's good. Doesn't tell us the oats because it's a field bid. Oats. 1,063 at the, oh, no, 1,074 at Butler's Ag, Ohio. Peak is also in December, 1157. It's what now? 1074, so it's going to go up another... What did I say? 1157. It's like another 80 or so per liter. Okay. I wonder if I can put that pallet of bond solage in the I'll take the pickup over there. Oh, so what I did is uh, I put everything away last night also. Tidied up here. I'll just open this door. So we put everything back where it was, the, the Vermeer wind roller and the weeder and park the wheel loader back where it was I should have left the wheel loader over here with the pallet forks
Put it in. Oh, why did I pull down here? I don't know. I think I've only got about 200 liters of fuel left here, so I should probably call for a delivery. I was coming to get the pickup. I forgot why I even came over here for. So what, there's still, <laughs> there's only 50 liters left here. That's not very much. Can I pick that up? Probably not, 250 kilos. Pretty heavy, yep. <sighs> it's kind of a, Bummer, I couldn't unload it. Of course, you never know how much you're gonna need. I suppose, I don't know how much that stuff costs. It says it's 83% for 50 liters, so. So maybe there is still quite a bit left. in the back of the pickup. We'll take that home. I would like to have it over at the West Place instead of at the home place, but I suppose it really doesn't matter.
because I could stop by with the loading wagon to fill it once I get there. So where to put it? I don't know. I'll figure out when I get back there. So we've already got our crops in and there's really nothing for us to do right now. Could start with the cattle already, I suppose. So I think I've mentioned it before, how I like this you know, cow shed with the pasture because the pasture has terrain relief contours to it. The cows move down the hill and over. I, I really like that. I don't like the the mods that you plonk in and it, yeah, the ground has to be leveled. You saw the area around our cow shed that I had to level it. And I probably overdid it a little, but that's all right. get this back and I don't know try to figure out where to put it where it can be out of the way I'm hesitant, well, I think it was because it was in the back of the pickup. I'm hesitant to put it under here just because of the weird stuff that happened. But maybe I can get away with it or I can put it in here. Oh yeah, I don't have any seeds. How much? So I could buy seeds. All right, well, I'll put it in there then. I just realized that I put that pallet too far forward that I'm not gonna be able to get it with the skid steer. tucked out of the way. Put the skid steer back. won't don't want to let all the heat out of the barn actually we could go over you know what we could do we could fertilize the grass in that pasture
you want to fertilize before the grass grows too much because it won't take the fertilizer if it's already to the point that um, you can harvest it. So it's got two, I guess, stages which it can be harvested when the grass is still fairly short and then when it's fully grown. I usually like to wait till it's fully grown just because you get better yield. But sometimes it might be worthwhile to do it to ensure that you get, you know, three cuts in the year. So maybe the first cut You get it before it's fully grown. I can hear somebody behind me. Truck. <clears throat> this won't take long, I don't think. So the grass that we painted in, we won't be able to cut. There is some around the edge there. <clears throat> but this behind it here, we won't be able to cut that. I could come in with a plow and plow that up and put in grass, you know, plant grass. I think the weeder has the ability to seed grass. This should probably be good, I think. Bring up the... Yeah, we're getting all of it. I think two passes should do it. Easily, yeah. I can even turn down the spread width over there. Coming the other way. If I can figure out what, what I need to have it set at. I think we're doing just fine there. That's one pass. And we get ourselves situated, try and center ourselves in this section here. Pull up the help menu. Thirty six will do it. How about thirty won't? So we'll set it on thirty six. Back up a little more. It's going over 30 should have been close enough, but we'll take it. So I guess we could buy the field next to us and work on prepping it today. It's one thing we could do. Uh, I'd like to buy that field and I would like to buy the buildings on the West Place. That's my next desires for land. 
adquisition. Miss that spot. Do I even? I'm not even going to bother. So this field here has got mature weeds growing in it. <clears throat> Lou owns it, huh? So how much is it? It's going to be plot eight, also known as field five. It's going to cost $168,000. And the West Place is, I think, like, 260 or something. Whoop. 261, which is more money than we have right now. Just a little, by a little bit. Uh, we're going to make 100,000 off the crop. I feel almost obligated to buy this place next at the next opportunity but that doesn't leave us with anything to do hmm. also got to remember not to sell all the wheat because we'll need it for the chickens that we're going to acquire how many how many chickens are there there's only 10 chickens in here but they're laying hens i imagine so we'll start getting eggs and with the price of eggs these days <clears throat> it's not a bad thing all right well end of november we are without anything to do. We're almost out of fertilizer. We need fertilizer, seeds. I guess <clears throat> that's something that we could do. Just make a trip to the store to pick up, you know, supplies for next year. <clears throat> Maybe a couple of big bags of fertilizer, a couple of big bags of seed. And that ought to do it. Got the trailer now. We can pull it with the pickup. And then we could store it. In the big building. I'm gonna order that fuel now. Let's see. Is it here? Yep. One liter, two liter, five liter, ten liter, twenty liter. What's it hold? Oh, a whole lot. Four thousand eight hundred one will fill it. Let's have them deliver a thousand liters. Okay, there we go. Now we got. Almost 1,200 liters of fuel. I 
and then seed, fertilizer. Those big bags are heavy. They're tough to move with the uh, with the skid steer. And price-wise, eh, save a bit though. Take a look. Oh, what do we got there? Forestry mulcher. Don't need that. All right. So big bag of fertilizer, eighteen twenty for a thousand. If you buy a pallet, fourteen hundred for seven fifty. So I think I think the big bag is a better deal. And then big bag pallets, nineteen twenty versus eighteen twenty. Guess you got pay more for the frame. Seeds, I think, is the same way. Seeds. It's a thousand li thousand fifty liters in the Vaughn solids. I only have fifty left. Huh. I use a lot of it. Or had a lot of it loaded. Okay, seeds. Nine fifty for a thousand fifty liters versus 800 for a thousand. So this is cheaper. Big bag pallet, 900 for a thousand. Yeah, the big bags is the way to go. All right, looks like I just got some busy work that's probably not going to be that enjoyable to watch, so we'll leave you here, and I'll probably see you at the beginning of December. We'll check, see what the prices are, maybe go sell, and then uh, if we make some money, we'll figure out what we're going to what we're gonna buy with it, but there's no equipment to buy, no uh, contracts to work. All of our land, with the exception of that small grass field over by Gene's place, I could put uh, fertilizer on it maybe, but kind of really no point in doing that. I think that's where I'm going to put a buy anything in anyway. So, yeah, we'll leave you here. Yeah, I'll probably see you in December. Unless something happens before the end of the day or the end of November. So... We'll see you in a bit.
Alright, so spent a little bit of time moving some stuff around. Got uh, seeds and fertilizer, a couple thousand liters of each. Stored in the big building. And I think we'll just call this an episode. A little shorter than normal. Uh, but we did some things. I think we'll just call it good at that and come back and see what December brings. Know we're going to have some snow, but uh, we've got silage on the go here. Let's check, see what it's at. 24%. So it was 21 when we were here earlier this morning, around 8 o'clock. So three hours later, and it's what, 24, 3% more. So yeah, it'll take a little while before we get that. We're making progress, though. We could get some cows in. That'd give us something to do. But we'll see. Uh, when do they normally calve? Uh, probably around this time of year. Um, so yeah, maybe we could get some calves in here. I think we should probably get a couple of cows that are already producing milk, though. Anyway, come back uh, and see what December brings. Thanks for uh, coming back checking us out here on the Ohio Farm.